A Peshwa was the equivalent of a modern prime minister in the Maratha Empire. Originally, the Peshwas served as subordinates to the Chhatrapati the Maratha king, but later, they became the de facto leaders of the Marathas, and the Chhatrapati was reduced to a nominal ruler. During the last years of the Maratha Empire, the Peshwas themselves were reduced to titular leaders, and remained under the authority of the Maratha nobles and the British East India Company. All the Peshwas during the rule of Chhatrapati Shivaji and Chhatrapati Sambhaji belonged to Dashastha Brahmin community The first Peshwa was Moropant Pingal, who was appointed as the head of the Ashta Pradhan Council of Eight Ministers by Chhatrapati Shivaji, the founder of the Maratha Empire. The initial Peshwas were all ministers who served as the chief executives to the king. The later Peshwas held the highest administrative office and also controlled the Maratha Confederacy. Under the Chitpavan Brahmin Bhatt family, the Peshwas became the de facto hereditary administrators of the Confederacy. The Peshwas office was most powerful under Bhaji Rao I R. 1720 under Peshwa administration and with the support of several key generals and diplomats, the Maratha Empire reached its zenith, ruling major areas of the India. However, after the Peshwa Raghunathrao allied himself with the British, the Peshwa's power declined substantially. The subsequent Peshwas were titular leaders and are said to be responsible for the downfall of Maratha Empire, due to inefficiency in handling the affairs of the state. Later on many provinces were controlled and administered either by the Maratha nobles such as Daulat Rao Sindhya, or by the East India Company. During this period, the Maratha Confederacy came to its end through its formal annexation into the British Empire in 1818. <laughs> First use The word Peshwa is from Persian Peshwa Peshwa, meaning foremost, leader". After the coronation of Shivaji in 1674, he appointed Moropant Trimbak Pingal as the first Peshwa. Shivaji renamed this designation as Pantpradhan in 1674 but this term was less commonly used. Moropant Trimbak Pingal's son, Nilopant Moreshvar Pingal, succeeded him during Sambhaji's rule after Moropant's death in 1683. Ramchandra Panta Matya The third Peshwa, Ramchandra Amatya nay Ramachandra Nilkanth Pant, received royal status from Chhatrapati Rajaram as Hukamatpana from 1689 to 1699. He was a sound administrator who rose from the level of a local Kulkarni to the ranks of Ashta Pradhan due to guidance and support from Shivaji. Amatya is a Sanskrit term denoting counselor, guide, supervisor, or overseer of both personal and governmental affairs. He recaptured many forts from the Mughals between 1690 and 1694, some in person, as well as personally conducting guerrilla war techniques. When Chhatrapati Rajaram fled to Jinji in 1689, before leaving from Maharashtra, he gave Hukumat Panha king status to Pant. Ramchandra Pant managed the entire state under many challenges such as the Mughal influx, the betrayal of Vaitanders feudal chiefs, and scarcity of food. With his help, Sachiv kept the Maratha state on a sound economic footing. Pant got tremendous military help from Santaji Gorpade and Danaji Jadav, the great Maratha generals. Many times he directly participated in battles, especially during 1689–1695, he personally recaptured many forts in South Maharashtra from the Mughals and played the role of stand-in king. In the absence of Chhatrapati Rajaram, in 1698, he happily stepped down from the post of Hukamatpana, and Rajaram offered this post to his wife Tarabai. Tarabai gave an important position to Pant in the administration of Maratha state. He wrote a book called Adnyapatra Marathi, Ajnyapatra which explained different techniques of war, maintenance of forts and administration etc. The concepts in Adnyapatra and the wisdom and leadership of Tarabai greatly helped the Maratha Empire in building the foundation of state. As he was more loyal to Tarabai than Shahu, he was sidelined after the arrival of Chhatrapati Shahu. Later, the Peshwa post was given to Balaji Visvanath in 1713. Ramchandra Pant died in 1716 at Panhala Fort. Parshuram Trimbak Kulkarni 
Parshuram Trimbak Kulkarni was born in a Dashastha Brahmin family and held the post of Pantpratinidhi. Later on, he became the Jagardar of An State and Vishalgad. He was instrumental in holding the Fort Panhala against Aurangzeb 1689. Though he lost the fort then, he recaptured it in 1692. He also captured territories between Miraj and Fort Rangana and also Budargad, Chandangad, Pavangad, Sitara and Vasantgad. He continued his loyalty towards Tarabai much to the chagrin of Shahu. Shahu imprisoned him twice between 1710–14, 14 second time when his son Krishnaji joined the forces of Sambhaji II. But his life was spared by Shahu because of the intervention of Khando Balal Shahu's personal assistant who reminded his king of Parshuram Trimbak's contribution to the Maratha cause. Parshuram Trimbak continued holding the position of Pant Pratinidhi in the time of Tarabai until his death in 1718. He was a devotee of Yamai Devi of And and had composed poems praising her might. He was succeeded by his son Srinivasrao, a.k.a. Shripatrao Pant Pratinidhi, who continued albeit as the feudatory ruler of An state. <laughs> Bot family The Maratha war of succession between Tarabai and Shahu resulted in latter's victory and assumption of Maratha throne as Chhatrapati. In 1713, Shahu appointed Balaji Visvanath Bhatt, as Peshwa, the appointment of Balaji's son, Baji Rao I, as Peshwa in 1719 by Shahu made the position hereditary in the Bhatt family. Baji Rao proved his loyalty and patriotism by controlling the feudal chieftains who wanted independence from the Maratha Empire. The rebellion of General Trimbak Rao Dabade, the Senapati commander in chief, over Chathai revenue collection of Gujarat is one example of such internal Maratha feuds. The followers of Baji and Trimbak clashed at the Battle of Bilipur on April 1, 1731, and Trimbak was killed. In gratitude, Shahu gave the Peshwas and the Bhat family unchallenged control over Maratha Empire who also appointed Baji Rao's son as Peshwa in 1740, gave considerable authority to the Peshwas to command the Maratha armies, and they responded well during his reigns. At the time of his death in 1749, Shahu made the Peshwas his successors under these conditions. Shivaji's descendants, who remained as the titular Raja of Sitara, were called Swami Marathi for the real owner by the Peshwas who reported to them, and officially they were to seek guidance from the Raja. However, the Peshwa also became a ceremonial head of state after the Battle of Panipat and the death of Madhavrao. <inaudible> Legacy The first Peshwa to receive the status of a Pantpradhan was Ramchandra Pant Amatya Bhattakar in 1689 by Chhatrapati Rajaram. The first Bhatt Deshmukh family Peshwa was Balaji Visvanath Bhatt Deshmukh. He was succeeded as Peshwa by his son Baji Rao I, who never lost a battle. Baji Rao and his son, Balaji Baji Rao, oversaw the period of greatest Maratha expansion, brought to an end by the Marathas' defeat by an Afghan army at the Third Battle of Panipat in 1761. The last Peshwa, Baji Rao II, was defeated by the British East India Company in the Battle of Kadki which was a part of Third Anglo-Maratha War 1817-1818. The Peshwa's land Peshwai was annexed to the British East India Company's Bombay province, and the Bajirao II, the Peshwa was pensioned off. <laughs> <laughs> Appointed and hereditary Peshwas <laughs> Notable generals and diplomats equals equals see also